Hello everyone. This is a new video that I'm doing um, and doing it at night and I don't want to use the flash because I think it uh, it makes the, ca uh, the equipment look kind of weird. So I'm trying to use natural light in the house mm -hmm. and increasing uh, and playing around with the exposure in the camera. So anyway, what are we what are we doing here today? Today uh, we're going to play around with getting a Harris PRC-138, uh, which is also known as the RF-5200 in the Falcon 1 series. But in this case, it's the actual military PRC-138. Uh, and we're going to be using that with this... Uh, um, let's go into this mode. We're going to be using the PRC-138 with the Harris 5833H. Now, this amp is designed to be used uh, not with the PRC-138, but the PRC-150, which is the successor to the PRC-138. Uh, also, the RF-5800, which is the uh, commercial civilian version of the PRC-150. So, uh, but um, if you look at the manuals, the manuals say that uh, everything is identical. Uh, they say that in place of 5 5033, which is the normal one used for the PRC-138, you could use the 5833. But they do warn you that the, that the RT, the, the transceiver, should only be used with the correct amp. Um, otherwise, it gives a fault, which it does. And then we're going to go through all of this. But it does seem to work. So uh, let's see what our setup is. So um, here, of course, we've got a power supply. Uh, this is a 400 watt amp that's not used in this video, but will be used hopefully in the next one. Here's the the RT and the uh, and the amp, the 150 watt amp, and here is our uh, 400 watt antenna coupler. And what you'll notice here is, uh, I've, instead of getting the high voltage output, I'm using the uh, 50 ohm output with the switch out of the way, and the purpose there is so we can uh, have a dummy load, which this provides, and uh, power measurement, but we're really, the, the radio itself will measure the power pretty well, so don't care too much about the power measurement. So let's go ahead and, and get things started. Let's turn this on. Okay, let's turn on the amp. Oh, the amp's already on. And let's turn the radio on to SSB mode. Okay. So uh, let's run through some tests. The first thing I'm going to suggest we do is, uh, so to, to run through tests in this radio, you have to s put the switch all the way over to test, the test position, and then you get a test menu. Before we do uh, the system test, let us do a visual test so we can hear some activity. Okay, we'll do the visual test. Just pick a random frequency, this sounds fine. And hopefully you can hear the coupler doing its thing. Uh, and also, I tell you what, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show the watt meter, just so you can see that's some activity. And I've got it on the 150 watt setting, so here we go. Okay, so I saw briefly almost 150 watts, which is the highest setting here. And if you look at the this, sure enough, seems to have achieved um, about 140 watts with a 1.1 uh, visoir. Let's try another frequency so we can get a little more activity, hopefully. Okay. Let's, let's try uh, 7150. This is totally, oops, got the wrong frequency in there. 07. Really, pretty much a random frequency. Okay, 150 watts complete. So what this tells me, and we'll do it again if you want to see this. Yeah, you can see briefly 100, and this time around 138 watts. But what this tells me is that is that the PRC 138, uh, in conjunction with the 5833 amp, works a charm. Uh, even though they're not supposed to work together. Uh, 100, getting 130, 140 watts out of a PRC-138 is a pretty good deal. 
But now let's take a look. Let's take a look at the real situation here and go back in, in test mode. Uh, let's let's do a uh, an actual system test, and you'll see this is where the problem lies. Take a long time. Okay, A30 fault 01. I haven't actually looked that up yet in the manual, which I may do. Uh, but that's what happens. So it doesn't like to talk to the 5833H. It prefers to talk to the 5033. Uh, and I suspect that there's some firmware in the amp that reports back uh, details to the to the transceiver and the transceiver doesn't ex like those details it expects a different model or different version but either way the this, the darn thing seems to work just fine and i would not uh, hesitate to use this uh, at all especially since if you look at the the uh, diagram here the feedback from the amp to the radio in in both cases in the 138 and the 150 is an analog feedback it says, I believe it's zero to four volts or five volts, four or five representing full power. So uh, because of that, I have a, I've got some confidence that uh, even though these are not talking to each other from a data perspective that all that well, uh, that I don't think anything would, would be damaged. And I think that the uh, linearity of the amp would be just fine uh, based on that, on that feedback. So there you have it. Um, that all looked good. Uh, and I will... Uh, Let's see if we can find anything. Well, that's so that, that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Next up, uh, the next video, we'll play with this 400 watt amp. That's going to be a little harder because I have to go dig up a dummy load, a kilowatt demo lo dummy load or something that'll handle it. All right. So uh, one final look at the whole whole thing. And there it is. Talk to you next time.